Warm, French halfpipe coach. One of the more animated characters in the halfpipe scene. And these French fans have seen something I, I think most of them thought they'd never see in their entire lives today. Yeah, a French one, two, three ski cross. Incredible. Gold, you know silver what? and bronze. I think they're sniffing a gold ear as well. I'm not going to lie. Marie Martineau out of retirement after she quit to become a mother. Uh, she's back and she's oh. skiing beautifully. Had a couple of taps at that grab. Got it in the end. 540. Landed a little bit. Pointing down the pipe. She needed to be pointing more at the other wall, really. But she's getting so much amplitude from it. Yeah, nice. Four, five. To another five. She needs a good hit here now. Nine! Wow. Well, she finished with a seven. Yeah. In the qualification runs. And look at that. She's put a nine down at 29 years old. A couple of years out of the sport. My goodness. Busy doing nappies and baby yeah. food. And now she's <laughs> in an Olympic half fight. Oh, my goodness. Laying down the run of her life. Well, that's that incredible. She's there, don't you just saying that to Sarah? Tribute there to Sarah Burke, the ski half-pipe rider who was largely responsible for getting the sport accepted into the Olympics but tragically died just over two years ago now. And everyone here in this pipe will be remembering Sarah tonight. That was the that was the skiing that Marie uh, was <laughs> put on our qualification run. That's why she's here in the first uh, in the first position coming into this final. She's that right in front of the judges there on that oh, last hit. That, that was the boot grab, wasn't it? She was stroking the boot rather than the ski. Yeah, there was a there was a little bit of first run jitter. <laughs> Coach Cam, that is amazing. Look at it, Charlie. The only way she'd have got, she could have got in the judges' faces more there would be to take a permanent marker and draw moustaches on them. <laughs> 84.8. So, exactly one point behind Maddie Bowman in the silver medal position after the first runs. We have seen some very...